if you've not watched this video subscribe hey guys and welcome back to my channel it is me is i is mazino i'm back again with another video <laughs> for you guys <laughs> today i'm looking fine as hell so feel free to tell me how beautiful i look in the comments okay okay so let's get into the video <laughs> Okay, so as you can see by the title today, I'm going to talking about my three or four, top three or four most embarrassing moments. Let's just see how it goes. My first embarrassing moment will have to be the first time I shot my shots at a guy. Okay, so what happened was that I saw this fine looking speck, spectrum, spectrum there. <laughs> I saw this fine looking dark skinned, he was dark skinned, he was tall. If you know me, you know. You know, you know that was my, you know that was my spec. Anyways, so there was dark skin. He was tall. He had a nice body. Well, not so nice. Like my level has upgraded now in the nice body ratio. But then ah, that was like whoa for me. And his skin and everything. And I was looking very fast. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to. I was like, you know what? I'm going to text this. I'm going to say text it. A phone. I had a phone then, but wasn't it? I was like, I'm going to tell this boy that I like him. I was thinking, oh, how would I do? I didn't even tell any of my friends, but I didn't tell anybody so that nobody would discourage me. <clears throat> so nobody would tell me that no, don't go for it. Because in my mind, I was like, me and Miss Speck, so there's no, nothing's gonna go wrong. And then, what well, was a stupid boy? <laughs> Anyways, um, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do this, blah, blah, blah. And then I went. To be my at like someone courage, I someone courage, and then I went to go and meet him one day, like closing time. And then I went and I was just like, I wrote like I wrote it in a letter. I was like, I will then like you, and I think I cute. I can't remember exactly what that was, but something in that line. I wrote it and I gave it to him. I was like, hi. I was like, hello. I was like, um, I have something to give you, and he was like, oh, what? And I was like, you take, <laughs> and then he was like. Oh, okay, okay. And then he read it and then he smiled. And then I just walked away like I walked fast because at the moment I was like, hey, whoa, I'll take you to go, 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 go. <laughs> so I walked away and I left the like place. And then he came. And then the next day in school, I was thinking that everything was going to go smooth. He was probably going to come and talk to me, come and sit down with me or something like that. And then I came to school and then I saw like the letter and like either one of these two boys' hands, I can't remember right now. Either it was Abdurrahman or it was um, Elijah. So one of you guys, yeah, if they're watching this, if you're watching this video, it was in one of his hands, and I was just like, bro, like I didn't expect anybody to be that child. Maybe I was like mature and everything, but maybe they were like obviously like girls mature more than boys. Anyways, <laughs> that's what I was saying. So I was not like embarrassed yeah i was embarrassed so everybody was they were laughing at me they were all looking like at my direction and they were just laughing so i had to tell my friends what happened because everybody was like ah what happened but anyways that was my first most embarrassing story uh, my first that was the one that really struck me as i then then um yeah by the way my may the soul rest in peace okay so my second most embarrassing story would have to be when I was in GS3 during common and common and Trask. during the um, Wayek Abi GS3 Wayek what they call that thing? Sha it was during that period and then my school was like a day school so we used to join like day school and boarding like co-ed and boarding student like boys boarding girls boarding all joined together and everybody was like a competition like look your best because the, we don't see the um, boarding students so we're seeing them for the first time most of us are seeing them for the first time anyways I was just like oh no we gotta kill it. <laughs> so like in our head, we're killing it as a gem and everything. And then me, I think was one exam. I can't remember the name of the exam right now. But we wrote that exam. And when I stood up to go and submit my period, I was, I was in my period by the way. So when I stood up to go and submit my paper, I realized that I was stained. I sat, I, I sat down back because... Ah, I think there were some fine boys at the back of me and even though there was no fine boys at the back of me, guys, start down back because even like getting stained, like even with girls around is embarrassing to be honest. Like right now, I've gotten to a point in my life where I don't give language, I don't give a, you know, and um, yeah, so I've gotten to that point and like right now I don't care if I do it, I do it because 
everybody knows that it happens please nobody should come and be making somebody to feel bad because of that so anyways enough of that pep, pep talk that's not the topic of the day um so yeah so that happened and then i was like i'm not standing up and i did not stand up yeah i waited i waited till there was nobody in the exam hall and i submitted my paper yeah and i ran to the toilet and i did my thing you know but anyways that was just that about that and then my third most embarrassing moment third most embarrassing moment okay when i was younger i went for a party <laughs> i went out with my friends i went out with my friends i went out with hannah gazelle Bilkisu. all of us went out had this party and everything and i think i told my mom that i told my mom i was going for a party but i told her that i was going to like a different place or something and then oh jesus lying is not good i don't lie there's no need for that lie i don't know why i lied it anyways like so i went out to like another place and everything and then to be honest it was like a halloween party the, I, I wasn't embarrassed that i wore like my school uniform to go because i dropped my bag that i had to change inside my friends this thing and then i wore like my school uniform to go for the party but it wasn't embarrassing that i was wearing my school uniform because it felt like it was like a costume even though people some people would have thought i was mad but some people felt like ah, you know this guy is a babe so this thing goes be costume jewelry so like maybe like that's her costume like the school uniform thing so i had the top one kind did the skirt one kind i was feeling myself regardless nobody you can't shame the shameless <laughs> anyway so that happened and then i um okay and then my mom came to look for me then she went to my friend's house this woman shouted at my friend like okay funny funny enough like they already dropped me at home but the kids the house wasn't there so i went to go and stay in our family friend's house and then when i went to go and stay there my mom came back and she did not see me and she just threw tantrum she went to go and disgrace me in the whole full place just know she did the most i, I don't i cannot start describing it because I still want to keep this fine safe that I have for you guys, you know, so that people will not see me finish. But just know my mother went Nigerian. She went Africa. She disgraced my whole food in the shop. Like any pride I think I was having, I thought I got, she finished it. Like she, she just tore me apart. When I go, go, go back to school, my friend was telling me how my mom came and she was shouting that, hey, I swear that if you don't bring my daughter out, God will punish you. You know how it is, man. Let me not show myself. She did the most anyway, so that would have been embarrassed. Embarrassing. That was embarrassing on my part when I got to school. But thank God I wasn't there to be honest. I feel like I should have dragged my ear to the car and everything. And then, fourth most embarrassing moment would have to be one time at the airport. I wore like a wrap dress and everything. And then, and then my dress, it just. He open but let let me just take you through the story so i wear a wrap dress and everything now uh, to the airport feeling fly really looking cute and everything you know if i if i open it like this face will have like a slit you know it was really looking you know, i was looking good to be honest and then i went to the airport and everything and immediately i came down from the car my wrap dress just say he says show me your mini says, i want to see you Hello. <laughs> oh, he says, my rap just open and says, I wanna see everybody, everybody was just looking at me like, bruh. And then it took time. <laughs> and then it took time for me to like cover up and everything, but I shall cover it up. But like the embarrassing part of it was I had to look at every single like it just had to be my flight so those people were entering. So Every single person was just looking non-stop to the end of the trip and they were just looking at me like girl we'll see you but after a while I had to burn it because <sighs> bruh like if I kept on feeling bad like there was nothing to really be feeling bad about because well, my body's I'm a hearty last last yeah no you can't shame you cannot shame the shameless <laughs> anyways so we've come to the end of this video please don't forget to like comment share subscribe do everything guys bye <laughs>
thumbnail.